I know it, because we've had some contested ones, not everybody got that win that they wanted tonight. But man, this is our scrimmage. This is our opportunity to do everything that we can to figure out how we're going to win in November. And we got a lot to figure out after tonight. We're going to keep those lessons learned coming through. But I'm excited. As you can tell, I'm excited. I'm, I'm getting real technical with you all right now. But it's a good night. It is. That is hilarious, the Admiral said crew, but yeah, and, and what I often say as a team, we have to work collectively. If we've learned anything over these last few years, is that when we put our heads together despite our differences for the sake of achieving a common goal, we get it done. We get it done. With regardless of our party identity, we get it done. And and Franken has that mindset and so many of our other candidates have that mindset. We, we don't accomplish any of the tasks that we need to across this state on one, on one person's back and one person's back alone. This state has to restore the integrity and the brilliance that we had in our education system. We have the ability to do that. We were once number one under this current governor. We've gone down to 19, 20, 21, and we know as islands that's not where we belong. Now, mind you, I can't do that by myself as governor. I'm going to need each and every one of these candidates and volunteers who are committed to make sure that we have collective change across the board so that Iowans are waking up proud to be an Iowan and that they're not interested in leaving. They're interested in staying because they belong. Has the the qualities of leading, right? We we know that he's done it as an admiral. He also has a great deal of experience related to international relations, and we need a senator with the breadth of that knowledge, especially experiencing what we are right now across this uh, this world with Ukraine, right? We we need to make sure that that Iowa is one of those partners that, and when it comes down to competition internationally, we need a senator to, to lift us up and lift this state up. And so he brings a great deal to the table. He's an innovative thinker and he's a positive thinker. And the best quality that I've, I've, I value in him is that he's willing to work together, right? That's what we need. That's what we need. And we've got that. How do you move forward? How do you get ready to take on Governor Reynolds and Paul? Oh, we do it together as Democrats, creating space for independents and Republicans who are looking for a home. I believe in this state, and I believe in this state, and not, not just because of all of the dreams and the ambitions that we have as islands, but I believe in this state because of where we've been, where we've been collectively. And so that growth and that opportunity exists. I want to make sure that we're number one in education again. We need fit to build 50,000 workforce units. Right now, today, I want to get to building so people can live, work, and play in their communities. We've got to increase wages in this state. We also have to make sure that, that, that Iowans are safe across the board, and so there's a lot of work that we need to do. We have 700 waterways that are contaminated. We've got to get them clean. We've got our farmers stuck between a rock and a hard place doing their zymes to, to, to grow and to, to raise livestock. They, they deserve that opportunity to get paid to work, right? So there's so many opportunities that the state has. We need leadership with the willingness to not only identify the challenges, but do something about it. And these, this is that moment. This is that moment.